What is up YouTube? Bro is back with another episode of Minecraft. And I'm gonna start off today by explaining something that I saw on YouTube a lot. I've seen a lot of these um, playthroughs on YouTube about trying to race to get all the achievements in Minecraft. So how about we do something a little different? We play through Minecraft with no achieve. I spelled it again. Achievements. Let's play. And create new world. So, I had gotten this idea a while back, actually, about something a little different than what most people usually do. So what most people usually do is race to get the achievements done as fast as possible. And yes, this is a set seed, but let me do this real quick so I don't accidentally press it. Wrong setting. Controls. Let's change the inventory key to something a little out of the way, like this. Done. So now I can press E all I want. I will not access my inventory. I will not gain that achievement. So I've created a set, or I've used a set seed. And I'm going to play through the whole game without once getting an achievement. So, the reason why I chose to set seed is so that I could get to the crafting, get to a crafting table so I can actually do stuff instead of wander around for ages. But I just think it'd be like a fun little challenge. Because, why not? Oh wait, I want that mushroom. There we go. And I can't move stuff around without having something to access my inventory. So this should be interesting. So that means I can only interact with nine slots unless I have something to be able to access my inventory with. So like over here, there is a workbench here. So I can do all of my necessary crafting. Get some sticks, get a pick. And I will never... Oh, I forgot. I have to press escape to do that. Let's press any. E. But I'll never have to enter my inventory. I should probably carry a workbench on me too. So, just a little bit of a thought. Because I won't be able to access my inventory. And the only way I will be able to exchange my armor is by either A, dying, or B, waiting till it breaks and then right click to put it on. It's like a little trick that people don't really realize much that's been around for a while now. If, you have, if you're holding armor in your hand, you can right click and put it on. It's actually really handy. But if I at if I gain an achievement at all during this playthrough, I will delete the world and start over from the beginning. But if I... Hold on, let me just take in this 1.10 village real quick. Beautiful. I may actually forget the whole challenge thing, so like... After I have defeated the Wither, I will then be able to open my inventory, because I've basically completed the game then. And this can just become the regular Let's Play world. But first thing I need to do is... So I'm going to set goals for myself in these things. So the first thing I want to do is... Is, um... Start mining get at least a stack of cobble. That's a good goal, right? Y'all can see the white text that I've already put up saying, or that I put up in the post-production saying that it is not a good enough goal. Thank you, white text.
Oh, and the point of the white text is to be like a, um, something to call me out on my mistakes or something. So if y'all saw in the previous video, I made a lot of mistakes that I didn't catch myself until post-production, and so I just edited in the whole white text thing to show that, yes, I made mistakes, and I know that. I did not know then. But, um... Maybe I should at least build a two-story house made out of cobble. No, go away, white text. I don't like you. Fine, I'll do three-story. Okay, so a three-story house made out of cobble by the end of the episode. Some other material? I'll stick with cobble and then switch. This will probably seem really weird if I forget to add in the white text. Because it will be like, this guy's talking to himself. Hey, I'm a YouTuber. I always talk to myself. It's kind of, kind of have to. Alright, so let's just start speeding up, and I'll have the white text talk to y'all if, if, um, I don't over voice it, or if, if it's necessary that something has to be there.
Well, I didn't quite get to finish the house, but I've run out of time for recording. So, this is it so far. It, I will have it done in the next video, but it is hard to play Minecraft without opening your inventory. Like, I thought it was going to be an easy thing, but now it's getting quite difficult. Because you have to run around to find something to mess with your inventory with. To mess with your inventory, like a crafting bench, or, uh... Oh, I haven't even gotten to furnaces and, um... Chests yet, but... It really does take a lot more than you think. So. Um... Yep, that's all I have time for, and I've run out of wood, so I can't finish that. So, that'll just bug y'all till next episode. Bye.